how, in, in terms of the Wahhabi and, and the role of the Saudis see themselves, again, with the overlay of a religion in the Arab world and what's going on in, in their neighborhood, as you allude to in the book, with Yemen, Iran, Iraq, Somalia, and their surroundings, and the role of the Americans and the American support. What, I mean, in terms of the, what we're dealing with now currently in the Middle East, what, you know, how do you see the Saudis positioning themselves and in light of also what's happening in Syria, which I don't think you address in the book, but clearly has to be really just sort of a, a crucial issue in how, who they're supporting and how they're positioning themselves with regard to, especially to Iran. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Iran is really their major preoccupation, um, partly for religious reasons, because the Iranians are Shias and the Saudis, or the majority of Saudis are Sunni, and so they really feel that these people are, they're far worse than Christians and Jews because they're the wrong kind of Muslims. Um, um, so Iran is their big occupation uh, or preoccupation. And they would like to knock off Assad in Syria because it would give Iran a black eye as his, uh, as his supporter and friend. Um, so they are funding um, and providing weapons to the fighters in Syria. And they say, and you've probably all seen that uh, Secretary of State Kerry is saying, well, this can be done without arms going into the wrong hands. Um, I have my doubts. Uh, I think the, the, the Saudis, uh, during these five years that I was intensively there working on the book, would constantly say, you know, you Americans, you, you wanted to get rid of Saddam because he was a nasty guy. And yes, he was a nasty guy, but you didn't think about what you were creating. You handed Iraq to Iran on a silver platter. Uh, I think they want to get rid of Assad because he's a nasty guy supported by Iran but they are not thinking about what they're going to uh, uh, create. And some of these people may well come back to, to uh, bite them and us. Is that the, the view sort of from the, the, the government or the, the prince, the families, or what, what would the street view it? And, and tied into that, the whole issue, which I'm sure they're watching extremely closely in, in a very interesting way, the dynamic between Israel and Iran on the nuclear issue. The uh, average Saudi uh, says, you know, we're, and, and I, I'm sure anybody would be concerned about the level of human killing that's going on in Syria. Um, so they say their concern in Syria is about the people. Um, and I'm sure that that is true. I think their government is, is more concerned about you know, one, one up in Iran, then um, I'm sure everybody cares that 70,000 Syrians have died thus far. But uh, um, I think the Iranian angle is much bigger in the, in the minds of the government, if not the minds of the Saudi people.